Hello everyone and welcome to the Shadow Realm. Today we're going to showcase my Tribrigate YCS Top 16 deck profile. But before we start, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'm of course playing triple copies of Tribrigate Fractal, the best starter for the deck. And an amazing gas bait if you have Gamma in your hand. Next we're playing triple copies of Tribrigate Keras. This card is a great extender if you have any of the Tribeast in your hand. And continuing with the standard ratios, we play triple copies of Tri-Brigade Kit. This is an amazing discard photo for Keras or any other cards that can send it to the graveyard. And finishing off with the Tri-Brigade Monsters, we play triple copies of Tri-Brigade Nerval. This card, when it's sent to the graveyard, can search any of the Tri-Brigade Monsters that we need. And in this pure version of the deck, we're also playing triple copies of Rescue Cat. If we're able to resolve the Rescue Cat effect and special summon one Keras and one Kit, we can pivot to Ferizit and continue our plays from there. Then I decided to play a single copy of the Decrow, a card that is searchable through the effect of Shrek the Ominous Omen. Also this card is great against certain matchups. Then let's go to the massive amount of hand traps that we play. We play triple copies of Cyframe Gear Gamma and one copy of Cyframe Driver. There are so many opportunities that you can activate Gamma on your own turn and after that you can rip another hand trap from your opponent's hand. And of course we're playing the triple copies of Ash Blossom of the Joy Spring, a generically good hand trap against meta and rock decks. And for the spice of the deck, we're main decking triple copies of Troll and Lockbird. This is such a cool card against the Drider matchup and also can be very devastating for Shadow Invoked or other rock strategies. Then for the rot of the deck, we're playing triple copies of Fire Formation Tanky. This card is great since we can search Fractal with it and continue with our plays. Then we're playing a single copy of Cold by the Grave, a card that can easily stop us and Ghost Bill. And also we're playing two copies of Forbidden Droplet. A great card even going first or second. Droplets really overperformed for this event. And since we have the room, we play a single copy of Harvest Feather Duster in order to destroy the back row decks. And continuing with our powerful one-offs, we're playing a single copy of Imperial Order, a card that completely destroys decks like Sky Strikers. Then we're playing a single copy of Trevor Gate Off in order to banish it from the graveyard and then gain the spell or trap effect, and we can chain block the effect of Kit with it. And of course we're playing the triple copies of Trevor Gate Revolt, a card that's really great for the strategy and allows you to play through the grand game. And of course we're playing the triple copies of Infinite Impermanence. This card is really great in the mirror match and also has some neat use cases when you're going second, usually against cards like Zeus or Wind. Now going to the extra deck, we're playing a single copy of Salaman Great Almiraz. This card allows us to send Nerval or Kit to the graveyard and continue with our combos. And of course we're playing a single copy of Perbrum in order to search Tri Brigade Revolt. Next we're playing double copies of Tri Brigade Verigid. The card that allows us to go into Apultus early and extend with our plays. And of course, we're playing the single copy of Double Dragon Lords in order to bounce any card back to our opponent's hand. Then, for the MVP of the Link 2s, we're playing a single copy of Cyframe Lambda. This card really overperformed over the weekend. Then, for the Link 3s, we play a single copy of Desperate Doomingle and one copy of Rugal. Rugal's effect comes very handy, especially if your opponent has back row removal. Then, we're playing the single copy of Apollusa, both the Goddess. A card that can be very devastating, especially against the Dryden strategy. And of course, we can't forget the boss monster of the strategy, Shrek the Ominous Omen. He not only targeted bannies, and his search effects are really handy, especially in the grand game. And for the finisher of the deck, we're playing a single copy of Axe God Docker. You can special summon him with any tribe head monster and their materials in the graveyard. I'm also playing a small Axis package, Joyce Melfi, and Double Zeus the Sky Thunder, so I can wipe my opponent's field. And the last card in the extra deck is one copy of Cypher and Lord Omega. If you can summon him during your own turn, you'll most likely win the match. That's it for the extra deck, now let's go to the side deck. We're playing triple copies of Nibiru, the Primal Bing. This card is an amazing hand trap against strategies like Salaman Great or Prank Kids. Also, it can be very handy against rogue matchups. And of course, we're playing the triple copies of Cospel and the Haunted Mansion. This card is really great against the mirror match when the revolt is activated and also it can be very cool against Sky Strikers and Shadow Invoked. Then, for some going second cards, we're playing single copy of Pankratops and two copies of Alpha, the Master of Beasts. Alpha can deal with problematic monsters, while Pankratops can deal both with back row and monsters. I always try to find room for this card. Then, for the back row hate of the deck, we're playing triple copies of Twin Twisters. This card is amazing due to the fact that you can send Nerval or Kit to the graveyard and continue with your plays after that. And to wrap things up, we're also playing double copies of Undiscovered Fragrance, usually sending out droplets for these cards if we're going first. And the last card in the side deck is one copy of Red Reboot. This card is an auto-win, especially in the mirror match if you have enough resources to OTK your opponent. That basically wraps up my YCS Top 16 deck profile. If you enjoyed the content and you find it informative, make sure to leave a comment 
like the video and subscribe to the channel for similar content like this. Also check the links in the description below in order to support the channel directly. I really had a blast playing in this event. Until next time, stay safe and I will see you in the Shadow Realm.